compiler design question about SDT. We have been given a grammar along with the semantic rules making up this SDT and we have to identify what this is actually doing and then based upon that we'll be answering which of the given choices is or are true. It is an MCQ type question so only one of them would be correct. So let's first have a look at the grammar. It is saying that P derives D star E star. Now here they have not specified what the what does this star mean? It can be a terminal symbol only unless specified otherwise. So we will be assuming this star to be a terminal symbol itself. And then this D it derives int of ID. Now what does this mean? It records that ID dot lexine is of type. It means it is acting as an assertion. And the symbol table is being involved in both of these or SDTs. As we know in the symbol table, we have all the information stored about the lexemes, types, and what other symbols we are having. So that is what is being accessed and recorded in these two queries. We can have the lexemes of time either int or bool. So for both of them, the separate rules have been given. This one records that id.lexeme is of type bool. So if it is of int type, then that particular entry is made. If it is of bool type, then its corresponding entry is made into the symbol table. And what do we mean by this id.lexeme? Which means the type of that particular lexeme basically. The id1, what exactly it is specifying, whether it's of int type or the bool type, that is what it's record. Then we have this e derives e1 plus e2 so it is an expression and in this expression it is first checking that events type this even and e2 both are having the same type that is integer and then it is setting the type of this e the result e as well to be of integer type now here as we can see the next query is not on the same grounds for bool so we are only checking the expression which are of type integer. For example, if we have this a and b, let us say 5, 6, both of integer type, then if we have something c equal to a plus b, which is an expression involving addition of two integers, then that is what is being checked in this particular line. If a and b both were of bool types, a equal to 0, b equal to 1, then if we say bool c equal to a plus b then that would not be validated by it the next line is this is not of even now again they have not specified what does this symbol mean over here but the rule given is check that the events type is bool if not then set its type to be bool so it is simply checking the type of boolean variables but it is not asserting the type of the bool expression which means if we are having bool a then it would be passed by this particular expression it would set the type for it as bool but if we have a boolean expression as we just saw above c equal to a plus b then such a boolean expression will not be validated by it finally same thing has been done for id as well set the type of es integer because this id corresponds to something of integer type so that same type is, is being assigned to this e as well so now based upon this let us see the options and what we got to know from this that if we are having arithmetic expressions of the form e equal to e1 plus e2 where both of these are integers then this particular expression is validated by the gram but if they are of boolean type then it does not boolean expressions are not validated but boolean variables are being checked in this particular line so let's see the actions can be used to correctly type check any syntactically correct program now this any is not possible here if we are having other than integer and bool types then it won't be able to we type check it or validate it so this is certainly not true then going to the next one the actions can be used to type check syntactically correct integer variable declarations 
and integer expressions so we just saw in this particular line integer expressions are being validated and below we also saw that integer variable declarations are also validated so if we have expressions such as in even equal to four something then that would be validated along with the integer expressions so this one definitely seems true let us also check the other ones the actions can be used to type check syntactically correct boolean variable declaration and boolean expression now we saw boolean variable declaration is to some extent in this particular line it is being checked but not the boolean expressions because in this line we only have that particular facility for integer expressions so this one would be incorrect then last the action will lead to infinite loop the loop is definitely not possible so both of these turn out incorrect we'll be going with option b